Hi everyone, thanks for joining this tutorial where we're going to talk about integrating and using JIRA and Jenkins to control the CI CD process. And right away on the top left, you can see we're using JIRA and we're using Jenkins as well. And of course, we have DB Maestro. Three systems here. Now we're going to be moving this specific ticket right here to the next column, which is ready for it. And now that we did this, it's going to trigger a job in Jenkins. We see it got queued up and then started running. And obviously this also triggered something inside of DB Maestro. This is actually the pre-check execution that DB Maestro runs so that we can have feedback about the SQL scripts that are a part of this package. And we can see that it failed in Jenkins and that added a label for this specific ticket inside JIRA. We can also see the execution of that pre-check command inside DB Maestro. This is the reason it failed. It's a policy violation specifically related to security. And now if we go to the policy manager and that project, we can see the specific policy that was violated. If we go back to the project and then the package section, we can see our package and the SQL script inside it. And we can see that there's a grant as part of the package. And this is what's violated the established policy. So now let's move on to the change approval segment. Okay, so let's say that I'm someone with approval rights and I want to approve this ticket. The first thing I'll do is check for this label indicating that the dry run was okay. That information comes from DB Maestro, which ran the dry run in the background, showing that there's no violation to any policy. And so I know that I can move the ticket forward in JIRA to the approved column. And the last segment here, will release a package to the database environments. Let's say I'm a DBA or a release manager, and I want to get this ticket executed inside the QA environment. I want to promote this single chain. So I just move my ticket to the next column ready for QA, and that will trigger this package to be executed, the upgrade to the next environment. In this case, it's going to start with the release source, and then it'll go to the next environment, QA. Once that's done, we'll see DB Maestro show up. We can see the details of the execution in real time if we want to, as well as everything about every other SQL file that's been executed. And finally, we know from the check mark that this execution worked just fine. Okay, now we have the second execution to the QA environment. And you can see it was promoted to both environments and we wanted feedback. Well, we know in Jenkins that we have this ticket that moved to the next column. We also have a label indicating that it's in QA now. Okay, let's talk about the always useful automated rollback. Let's say I'm a DBA or a release manager again, and I want to roll the ticket to here. Well, all I have to do is go to Jenkins and go to the job that's called rollback, click on it, and then just send the parameters. The only parameter there is the JIRA ticket, and that is going to trigger the rollback in DB Maestro. And again, we can see it in real time. It's rolled back from both the QA and release source. And once that's done, we can see that the ticket moved back to the in progress column and the package got rolled back from release source and QA just as expected. And that's it for now. Thanks for joining and see you next time.